I don't know if it's just because I don't often vlog on my phone anymore or if something weird is happening, but I feel like this is more zoomed in than ever. But hello, we are just checking out of our hotel. We are gonna do a little writing session at one of my favorite places here. Hopefully we can, hopefully they're not too busy. I brought a friend this time, a partner. But I was thinking in the car that I wanted to share a couple of like tips with you all about finding money in your business. And what I mean by this is not, um, you know, raising your rates, not going on Upwork and bidding for a bunch of jobs, but like finding money that is right underneath your nose. And this is legit. I know this sounds real sketchy, real infomercial right now, but just hear me out. Hot tip numero one. Swap these out. <laughs> Gosh, so much water is coming off the car. Hold on. Look at all this runoff. So my first tip, the thing that inspired this video was use your resend to unopens feature in your email provider. So I use Flowdesk and we sent out a, you know, a follow-up email after our webinar attendees got the replay. We sent it out a couple days later saying, hey, what'd you think of the replay? Just a reminder, here's the course, blah, blah, blah. Well, out of that list, about 900 people didn't open it. I'm so sorry, like this is like the worst shot ever. Hold on. So Flowdesk has this feature where you can literally just in like two clicks, send the email just to the people who didn't open it. Um, I did that Friday night and we saw, four or five sales come through like within the hour. So if you're like, oh my gosh, how do I make sales? Remember, it's so much easier to make sales to people who are already familiar with you and are already on some kind of a hand raiser list or an I'm interested list or a webinar list, then let me go out on social media and try to find brand new people and things like that. Similarly, my second tip is to shop your inbox. If you are looking for clients or, you know, sponsors even, you know, if you're a content creator, go through your email inbox and close the loop on some of the, you know, conversations that have been started. I did this back in 2020 when I lost one of my biggest clients, um, one of my biggest like full service video clients. I just went through my email and I saw so many things, you know, so many people had reached out on forums that like for some reason one of us kind of dropped off or even proposals I had sent through that I, you know, just kind of like let let go. Um, I never really followed up on them. And I actually, when I did that in 2020, I ended up closing on uh, like two clients, I think within a couple of weeks of shopping my inbox of like proposals that had just kind of went stale or things like that. I also did that recently with sponsors. written for his book as well and I bought three books as well bought three collections of short stories and some of these fun magnetic book book what do you call these bookmarks because I was just like use receipts and stuff I'm like it's time to upgrade I'll probably write on my sub stack about why I am doing the short story thing which is very new for me fiction is new for me short stories are new for me but that's unrelated to this video so the third thing I wanted to tell you about like finding more money in your business is looking at your credit card receipts, right? I mean, this one sounds quite obvious, but there have been so many times where I have just completely forgotten that I've been paying for something or um, not really known what something is and have been able to either negotiate it, delete it, you know, cancel it whatever the case may be. So if you are thinking, oh my gosh, I'm spending a lot of money, I need to make more money. Sometimes it's not actually that you need to make more money, it's that you need to scale back a little. So definitely recommend looking at your 
credit card statements. We are going to go, Norris is just like using the restroom, and then we're gonna go to my second favorite place, or really my first favorite place here in my hometown. It's a nature preserve, it's called El Sabo. So it is like a beautiful spring day, it's about 51 degrees. So we're gonna take a little walk and then just hang out with my family for a bit before we head back to the city. Okay, Norris is kind of taking a long time because I think he's getting more food as well. So I'm gonna give you one more tip uh, before we head into the forest. The fourth thing I wanted to tell you about is like going through your messages, not just shopping your inbox, but also realizing what people have demand for. So for example, for me, a lot of people ask me for one-on-one -on -one coaching and I don't really do that anymore. However, if I were in a position where I'm like, okay, I need to pay my tax bill or I'm saving for you know, a big thing or whatever the case may be, I would probably offer like almost a flash sale or a short term limited deal of one on one sessions because, you know, that's something that's in demand. I know people ask me for a lot and that sort of um, incentive of exclusivity or of a short, you know, a short run basically will encourage people to go ahead and book right away. So think about what that might be for you. Maybe it's not one-on-one -on -one sessions, but maybe it is full service. Like maybe you're a social media strategist and you pretty much only do strategy nowadays, but people are asking for full service management or it's, um, you know, in house calls. If you're like, I don't know, a nutrition coach or a, you know, yoga instructor or something like that. Like think about what is like a premium service that you don't usually offer and offer that for just, you know, hey, till the end of the month, we're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. And that's a good way to increase the cash flow in your business as well. Do this in a strategic, smart way, in a way where, you know, let's say that you are creating video content for your clients, but you're not like doing any of the SEO, you're not actually uploading the videos, you're not doing thumbnails, anything like that. Sorry about the wind. Doing that add-on service would truly benefit your clients. So um, consider, you know, just throwing that in there as an additional benefit. I always get questions about how do I upsell my clients? How do I raise my rates? And the answer is honestly provide more value, solve a problem that they already have. So anyway, those are five ways that I recommend trying, investigating if you're looking for more money in your business. And with that, we are going to explore and have a great time for the rest of this beautiful day. We just saw Blue Jay here and lots of animals out here. It's just makes me feel alive. How pretty. We're just hanging out with the fam. Like if we're dreaming big goals here, I would love to have a little house right over here. Not anywhere too crazy. Like I don't think I want a house on Lake Michigan or anything too big, but just like a little lake like this one. So cute. 